Hi there, and welcome to another video from Wondershare Dr. Phone. I am Francisco, and in today's video, we're going to discuss how to flash a dead Android phone safely. Flashing a dead Android phone might sound daunting to some, but with the right knowledge and precautions, it can be a straightforward and effective solution to bring your device back to life. So before we move to the main topic, do remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. It will keep you updated with the latest videos. So now, so now let's go ahead and move to the main topic without any further ado. Part 1. Can a dead phone be flashed? So we will start our discussion by addressing the fundamental question, can a dead phone even be flashed? The short answer is yes, in many cases it can be revived through the process of flashing. Now when we say dead phone, we are specifically referring to a device that shows no signs of life such as a blank or black screen, no response to charging or power buttons or being stuck in a boot loop. Now there are various reasons why a phone may become unresponsive, a common culprit is usually going to be software related issues. So flashing in this context involves rewriting or reinstalling the phone's operating system or OS to its internal memory. This process can eliminate any corrupt or malfunctioning software that may be causing the device to be unresponsive. Part 2. How to flash Samsung Galaxy in one click. So if the dead Android device that you own is a Samsung Galaxy, we've got the perfect tool for you to flash your phone in one click. One Assured Doctor Phone is going to be an amazing Android repair tool that can fix all software related issues. Since software issues are the most common causes of dead phones, Wondershare Doctor Phone emerges as the go-to choice for flashing dead Samsung Galaxy. Now here are going to be the detailed steps to flash Samsung Galaxy with Wondershare Doctor Phone. After installing Wondershare Doctor Phone on your computer, launch it and choose System Repair from Toolbox. Connect your Samsung Galaxy to the computer and click Android. Now tap Start and on the following screen provide device information. You will need to provide device details such as brand, name, model, country, and carrier. After checking the I agree box, go ahead and tap next. Here you need to put your Android device into download mode, for which you can follow the on-screen instructions that Wondershare Doctor Phone is going to provide you with. Now just go ahead and tap next to proceed and Wondershare Doctor Phone will start downloading the firmware once the device is in download mode. As the firmware is downloaded and verified, press the fix now button and the flashing process will start to fix all the software related issues from there. Part 3. How to flash a Samsung Galaxy dead phone with Odin. In this part, we are going to guide you through the process of flashing a dead Samsung Galaxy phone using a tool called Odin. Odin is a Windows-based software designed specifically for Samsung devices and it allows you to flash firmware, custom recoveries, and other system files onto your phone. Let's go through the steps to use Odin to flash your Samsung Galaxy device from here. So just ensure that you have the latest Samsung USB drivers installed in your computer. These drivers allow Odin to communicate with your phone. So just obtain the correct firmware for your specific Samsung Galaxy model. You can usually find a firmware on websites like Sam Mobile or Samsung's official website. Ensure that the firmware is .min, .tar, or .tar.md5 as Odin only recognizes these formats. Obtain the latest version of Odin from a trusted source and then extract the files from the downloaded archive. Run the Odin file as administrator on your computer from there. And then just go ahead and power off your dead Samsung Galaxy phone. Then press and hold the volume down, power, and home button simultaneously until the phone vibrates and enters the download mode. Press the volume up button to confirm entering download mode from there. Then connect your phone to the computer using the USB cable. Upon successful connection, Odin should recognize your device and you will see a message saying added on the Odin window. In Odin, click on the AP button and then select the firmware file you downloaded earlier. Ensure that auto reboot and F dot reset time options are checked in Odin. Leave all other options alone. Once everything is set, click the start button in Odin to begin the flashing process. Be patient and do not disconnect your phone or interrupt the process until it's complete. Once the flashing process is finished, Odin will display pass in the top left corner. Your Samsung Galaxy phone should automatically reboot from there. Part 4. How to flash MTK Android dead phone with SP Flash Tool. SP Flash Tool is a powerful utility specifically designed for MTK devices. 
allowing you to flash firmware, custom recovery, and other system files onto your phone. So let's get started with a step-by-step -step guide. Make sure that you have the appropriate MTK USB drivers installed in your computer. Obtain the correct firmware for your specific MTK Android phone model. Then just download the latest version of SP Flash Tool from a trusted source and extract the files from the downloaded archive. Open the SP Flash Tool executable file, usually named flash underscore tool.exe, to launch the tool. In SP Flash Tool, click on the Scatter Loading button, and a window will appear. Browse and select the scatter file associated with the firmware that you downloaded earlier. Once the scatter file is loaded, SP Flash Tool will automatically select the firmware components. Check that everything is in order, including the download only option selected in the download tab. Connect your phone to the computer using your USB cable. SP Flash Tool should recognize your device and display a green circle or progress bar, indicating that it's ready for flashing. Click the download button in SP Flash Tool to begin the flashing process. Once the flashing is complete, you'll see a green OK message from there. Part 5. How to Flash Nokia Dead Phone with the Phoenix Tool So for Nokia devices, you can use the Phoenix Tool to flash the dead phone. Phoenix is a powerful utility specifically designed for Nokia devices, allowing you to flash the firmware and recover dead or bricked phones. Here are going to be the steps to flash Nokia dead phone with the Phoenix tool. So just download the Phoenix tool from a trusted source and install it on your computer. Open the Phoenix tool executable file, usually named phoenix.exe, to launch the application. Now connect your Nokia phone using a USB data cable and choose no connection in the Phoenix application. Here tap file. Click Open Product and choose the product version from the list for your device. You can find your device's firmware through Google or under the battery of your device. Afterward, press Flashing and choose Firmware Update. In the Firmware Update tab or window, go ahead and click the bordered button to select the targeted product code. Now ensure the dead phone USB flashing box is checked and click Refurbish. Tap OK on the upcoming dialog box and wait for the flashing to complete. Part 6. How to flash a dead phone that won't turn on via factory reset. A viable approach to address the issue of flashing Android devices is to utilize specific tools, though their compatibility is often limited to certain device models. For a more versatile solution, alternative options are available. One such option involves performing a factory reset on the Android device through recovery mode. Here's a general guide to performing a factory reset on a dead phone that just won't turn on. Firstly, just find out the specific key combination to act as a recovery mode for your phone model. Common key combinations include pressing and holding the volume down and power button simultaneously or the volume up and power buttons together, but it is going to vary for every model, so look this up before proceeding. Press and hold the designated hardware key combination to enter the recovery mode. Use the volume up and volume down buttons to navigate the options in the recovery menu. Look for an option that says factory reset, wipe data, or reset phone, then use the power button to select the option from there. The phone will just go ahead and prompt you to confirm the factory reset option. Now navigate to the yes or confirm option using the volume keys and select it with the power button. The factory reset process will begin and your phone's memory will be wiped. This process may actually take a few minutes, so be patient and let it be completed. Number 7. How to flash a dead Android phone by checking the faulty screen. Your Android device may not start up properly due to a faulty screen. If you're looking for a solution to revive your dead Android phone, try performing a forced restart using the volume button, following the specific procedure for your device model. If upon restarting your Android phone vibrates but the screen remains dark, it could indicate a hardware problem. Most likely the screen is broken and requires physical repair or assistance to resolve the issue. Part 8. How to fix a dead Android phone by changing the battery. To resolve a dead Android phone issue, consider replacing its battery as a potential solution. Typically, an Android device's battery has a lifespan of up to 3 years. When the battery's capacity diminishes significantly, it is advisable to replace it from there. If you attempt to restart your Android device without success, it may indicate the need for a new battery. It's crucial to handle the replacement process with appropriate care and supervision, or just let a professional handle it, which would be even better. Part 9. How to repair a dead Android phone by contacting official support. If you have attempted various methods to revive your dead Android phone without success, reaching out to the official support channels of your phone's manufacturer can be a valuable step. 
Official support teams are trained to diagnose and troubleshoot issues specific to their devices. To visit the official website of your phone's manufacturer and then navigate to the support or customer service section from there and then you should be able to find a method to contacting customer support if needed. And with that, today's video has reached its end. So thank you for joining us on this troubleshooting adventure. We wish you success in bringing your Android device back to life and extending its usability for years to come. Use the comment section to provide feedback and to give the video a thumbs up to show your appreciation. Finally, do remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on new videos. Now with that said, until next time, enjoy.